Well, hey, Rosemary, good afternoon. The strike has been going on in earnest here on the campus of Rutgers Camden University for about seven hours now, since about nine this morning. As you can see here behind me, faculty and professors, adjunct professors and lecturers have been working in shifts throughout the day. They are peacefully, as you can see, making their voices and demands heard, they say, after many, many months of failed negotiations. When they say cut back, we say. When they say cut back, we say. When they say cut Despite back, talks we say. with the university that are ongoing, Rutgers University faculty and staff with three educator unions officially hit the picket line this morning. It is the first time in the university's 257 year history that educators have gone on strike. They're fighting for fair pay and affordable health care costs, among other issues. The main thing about this entire contract campaign from the beginning has been been to protect the most precarious and to get job security for those who don't have it. And we haven't gotten that and we're on the line now because of it. I think they deserve their money. There are a lot of good professors here that deserve higher pay. Um, once I found out what they were making and what they were sacrificing, it kind of was sad to hear about it. Jasmine Montgomery is a first year law student who, like some of her peers, are joining their teachers on the picket line. Some classes are not in session. Some some professors are choosing to still have classes. Some are not. Um, so we don't really know. Finals are in a few weeks. Together, unite. Solidarity is the cornerstone of, of the labor movement. Michaela Maria is president of the URA AFT Local 1766, which is not on strike. We've been bargaining for close to 11 months uh, with no contract. We're getting the same kind of um, proposals from management that our faculty colleagues are getting. In a statement, the university says this action is deeply disappointing and contends that negotiations have been constant and continuous. The university president saying he remains cautiously optimistic they will reach a quick resolution. Yeah, I hope it gets resolved quickly so I can go back to having a regular education. Now, Governor Murphy called on both sides to have, quote, a healthy dialogue in his office in Trenton earlier today. We understand that that meeting began at 12 noon. A source who is inside tells us that they are not even close. Murphy, in the meantime, says he anticipates a deal that is fair to all parties. He says he is not in favor of a deal that falls on the backs of students across New Jersey. Reporting live at Rutgers Camden University tonight, I'm Sydney Long. NBC 10 News. We'll be watching.